So this is Royal Academy Stadium. It's more like an army base than a school. And it's gonna be a tough match. They're on a different level to the other teams we've played. Well, we're just gonna have to see exactly who they are because we're taking them on in this episode. And Royal Academy is just one of those iconic teams. So important in the first Inazuma 11 game of them all. This is their goalkeeper, Princeton. He's a pretty small guy to be a goalkeeper, wouldn't you agree, JP? But nevertheless, yeah, Royal Academy, they were the first team that you ever played against in the very first Inazuma 11 game, and they absolutely flattened Royal Academy, thanks to their captain, Jude Sharp, who these guys are having a bit of a worry about right now, because he's currently the coach of this team. Royal Academy's changed a bit over the years. Yes, and my brother along with it. He seemed like a totally different person. What could have happened to him? Well, we'll find out exactly why he is coached, because he did move to Ryman, but then kind of became a more unfitting player there, if I'm honest. He feels quite right as part of Royal Academy, but why he's part of Fifth Sector is the main issue here. It seems that Ryman aren't bringing out Blade, their best forward. Are they mocking us? That is of no concern. We will triumph. That is all that matters. Roger that. So that was the main chat lot you needed to speak to to advance it, and then you can speak to Eugene Peabody. So Victor's definitely not joining in today, then. We don't even know if he's on our side or not. Aren't we better off without him? Maybe, but we still haven't managed to do Thunderbolt successfully. I feel like our chances are slipping dr drastically. So, David's here too? Let me tell you something, Jude. I believe in football. I won't let it stay like it is. This regulated nonsense. I'm going to bring back the kind we used to play. Coach Evans. <sighs> yeah, that's right. David Samford of Royal Academy and Inazuma National is also part of this team as the trainer of Royal Academy, which they kept secret from us. Are you sure you've made the right choice not going to the match? Meh, it's not like they couldn't play without me. It's hot in here. I'm going to get a drink. Is everything okay, Vitya? I don't think he can hear you, lad. Your duty, Blade. Oh no, that Scottish accent could only mean one thing. Is there a good reason why you aren't playing in this match? We've given you clear orders that Raymond have to lose. They can manage that just fine without me. All the Royal players have been doing constant, gruelling drills. There are several Imperials on their team as well. Without a better striker, Raymond don't stand a chance. Perhaps, but in the unlikely event that they do win, I can promise that you won't be getting the money for your brother's operation. What? Oh, he's heard now, that's right, your brother's been part of Fifth Sector for a long time, trying to raise money to heal your legs. How do you feel about that, good sir? Well, this guy certainly doesn't think much of my usual habit of talking to NPCs just before a match. Never mind, we'll just get on with it then. Celia recommends that you should be level 4, 15 to 17 for this match. And she's kind of right, I'm level 14, but there's just aren't any teams that we can play against in Mr. Veteran's competition route right now. And I don't just want to grind out random encounters, so I'm just going to have to go into this one slightly underleveled. Royal Academy are a strong team. With Jude in charge, they'll have really maximised their potential. Keep your wits about you. Jude. Mark, let's see just how ready you are. Oh, believe me, man, I'm perfectly ready. Aside from the fact, yeah, we can't play with Victor on our team. That is an indirect nerf since the previous match. We have to make do with Ricardo and Kaiser on strike force. Not the most promising, but at least Ricardo's got his fighting spirit now. Well then, these players on Royal Academy, they have such a brilliant naming theme, and I'm going to go through it one by one. 
because they're all named after popular universities, mostly in the UK and the United States. This one's the hardest connection to make. I could only settle on Fawnshaw College at the end, but Ascot is the city where plenty of London universities have campuses. St. John, there's many universities in the world named after St. John, including one in my local area, York, called York St. John. Speaking of York, they've also got Yorick York for that exact reason. York University is really beautiful, I've been there plenty of times. But we've got the University of Wales, we've got Princeton University, we've got Dartmouth University, there's Yale University, one of the big names, Eton College, Cornell University, Cambridge University and Harvard University on the same side of the pitch. Not sure about that, but there's Stanford University and Oxford University, at least they've kept that away from Cambridge. Uh, Remington College is a prominent member of this team, and the captain in fact, and Columbia Uni as well. So before we move on, this player here, Draken Yale, is someone that a lot of you in the comments have been suggesting that I put on my team, and for good reason. He has got a fighting spirit, he's a defender, and you will not be getting any fighting spirits on your defenders throughout this entire story. I'm just going to tell you that right now. He's got a long shot, and you can get him in just a chapter and a half. Like, we've got to finish this match, and then finish another one, and then he becomes accessible. So, in theory, he sounds like a... No! So close, but then it just rolled out of play. In theory, he sounds like an extremely good idea for someone to put on my team. However, there's just a few problems with that, which I don't think I have enough time to go through while we're in the mission objectives, so I'm going to save it for when we're in free play during the second half and talk about it. Oh, seriously? I'm on the line! Just let me pass so I can do my story objective! Um, okay, Rusty the Defender takes a shot. Well, it's no wonder that's not going in. But thanks for ruining the pitch, mate. Commence assault. Roger. Oh, he's fast! Outstanding save from Ryman there, stopping Remington's shot dead in its tracks! Now things are getting interesting. We'll not be able to keep this up long, not if they throw more shots at us like that. Do you think we need to tighten our defence? No, we can't win if we stay on the defensive. This is Royal Academy. Using Thunderbolt is our only option. As soon as I get the ball, we'll give it a go. Got that? All right, so that's what we need to do. We have to pass to Ricardo, who, remember, you can move around the pitch if it's convenient. What the heck, Wan Lee? What happened? This is the easiest objective, and it has become so again because it just kind of rolled back to us again. But Wan Lee, that was terrible. Here we go. Thunderbolt. Oh no! So is that all Ryman amounts to these days? Then it's time to smash them. Team, initiate strategy Alpha 1. I thought you'd never ask. Initiating strategy? back of Ryman's net. Royal are bound to be pleased with that. Do you see now? Royal Academy is a brick wall and it's taller, thicker and stronger than you could have ever imagined. We are the commanders of the football pitch. Underestimate us at your peril. Yeah. 
So there we go. They got the goal with Emperor Penguin number seven, which looks beautiful, it has to be said. We've now got to perform a perform of stringing passes objective, and so it doesn't matter where you finish this objective, so you may as well pass backwards so you're not in the line of fire from these people who are just going to take it from you anyway. Well, they're just too strong. If only Victor was here. Volodya? Vitya, did I ever ask you to fix my legs? Did I ever say, Vitya, it's your responsibility, fix my legs? Have I ever said anything like that, even once in my entire life? <gasps> How could you get involved with a group like Fifth Sector? With people who think football should be regulated? Is that the kind of football we grew up with? The kind we loved? Is it? That thrill you get, that excitement for running after the ball. That's what football's all about, Vitya, isn't it? V Volodya, I... Go away. I don't even want to look at you. I thought you were better than this, but you're just a traitor to football traitor to the kind of football we used to love. So go away. Get out of my sight. <sighs> what a goal! Royal sent the ball effortlessly into the back of Rymond's net. Royal are bound to be pleased with that. It's Royal setting the pace here. Who knows if Rymond can catch up? Everyone's saying you're what we need to pull off the Thunderbolt tactic. We can't do it without you. I always thought I was doing the right thing. I never questioned it. I thought I had to do anything I could to help Volodya. I never even realized. I've been betraying him all along. I've been betraying the kind of football he loves. The kind of football we love. How could I not have realized that? How could I be such a bolvan? I've made up my mind, Volodya. I'm not going to just stand and watch. Not anymore. You're making the right choice, Vitya. You belong on the football pitch. We gave it everything we had, played like our lives depended on it, but we still couldn't pull off Thunderbolt. At the end of the first half, the score was still 1-0. What's happened to Commander Sharp's metal? If we coordinate, we can take out Ryman in a single blow. Why won't he act? Because evidently it's not part of his plan. You should just follow his orders. After all, we're Royal Academy. That's how we play. Are you trying to give me orders? I'm the captain! Don't you forget that! Seems I'm the only one who understands the commander's mindset. What's wrong, Mark? Is this the best Ryman can do? I'm disappointed. Our chances of success are looking marginal at best. Unless we can get Thunderbolt to work, we're sitting ducks. Captain, everyone, we have to get going. We have to play as hard as we can in the second half. Otherwise, it really will all be over. But what can we do? How can we make our tactic work? Put me out there! Victor! Put me out there! Put me in the match! Why, so you can betray us again? I'm not asking as an Imperial, I'm asking you man to man, as a football player. Pull the other one, mate! As if we're gonna trust you! Tell him, coach! It's up to you whether you trust him or not. You're his teammates. I trust Victor. Huh? This Diverucht. Think of all the damage he's done to this team. You really trust him after all that? Yes, just look at the way he plays. You've all seen it. No one could play that well. Not unless they really loved football. That's how I know we can trust him. I'm willing to trust him too. Thanks, Captain. Like my opinion matters anyway. Fine, have it your way. Go on, Victor. Get out there. Yes, coach. You can do it, Victor. I know you can. Heh. 
Andiamo! Let's start the second half off with a bang! It's time for Thunderbolt to strike! And Victor Blade is finally somebody that we can put back on our team! And so, straight away, Peabody's going off. We want to have him up front, along with Ricardo. These are our two fighting spirit users. And we're going to need him, honestly, because we're a goal down. And we're already in the second half. And we've got to turn this around into a victory. To start off to do that, we have to pass to Ricardo. But to make it even more challenging, Captain Rex Remington brings out his own fighting spirit, Corvus. And this sliding tackle is absolutely going to fail because we're taking him on with somebody who doesn't have a fighting spirit. But luckily, the AI is not very good. Football's always been my dream. I'd give anything to be out there on the pitch again. Even now. I still can't let it go. I just love football too much. Thunderbolt! What happened? It all looked perfect that time. The timing, the form, everything. Is Victor all right? Looks like he's taken this quite badly. What's wrong? Why didn't it work? Am I still conflicted? If we win this match, my brother won't get his operation. Victor, what's wrong with you? Huh? You're not focused. You need to keep your mind on football and nothing else. Otherwise, you're just making football sad. <gasps> For what, dear? I'm sorry. I never meant to upset you. I just wanted to see you play again, like you used to. That's all I wanted. Vitya, I understand. I know you joined the Fifth Sector because you wanted to help me. But you shouldn't throw away your own dreams to save mine. You have to walk your own path, Vitya. I want to see your dreams come true. I have to make it up to my brother, and there's only one way to do that. I have to play football, the kind we both love. By taking the ball from a fighting spirit summoner, I'm afraid that's not gonna- WHAT?! Arian, how did- Um, okay, so no, I was just looking wrong. It was- Rex Remington was behind him with the fighting spirit, but then he just gives it to Ricardo. Dude. can now use running in the 90s with Arian. It's a pretty generic move, just run up and kick the ball really fast, but it's effective and we've also got the special tactic Thunderbolt for breaking through the powerful defense of Royal Academy, including its spirit summoners, of which they're about to bring on a second one. This is Draken Yale and his 
defensive fighting spirit Dragoon, and until I bring out a fighting spirit with either Ricardo or Victor, then we're not going to be able to take the ball from them. But like I was trying to say before, the AI, more so for the sake of game balance than bad programming, I'm sure, but they're not very good at using fighting spirits, because if I was playing as Royal Academy and I was Rex Remington with the ball in my possession while my spirit was up, I would, Ryman would not be able to do anything about it. And so there's no reason to give it away and pass to another player, but probably just to make things fair, yeah, the spirit summoners will just give the ball away sometimes. Not so much here though. Oh, Yale is actually involved in this clash without being the player who's taken the ball from me, so I'm actually going to be able to get past him. So yeah, Fighting Spirits, it's less so about... I mean, it, it's, you know, if you want to take a ball from them directly, you've got to use your own Fighting Spirit. There's no other way around it. But, yeah, you will find that the computers will just pass to another player who's not using a Fighting Spirit. So, don't have too much fear. Unless, yeah, they're on your half of the pitch, then it's suddenly going to become a massive, massive problem. And they are currently heading for my side of the pitch, and I haven't actually scored yet in free play. Which can be a problem, because they've got two of their fighting spirits up, and they will score if they use it. So, Victor, it's time for yours, Lancelot. I'm not too confident he can actually win a, fight, a spirit duel with Draken Yale, because he's actually meant to be a defender. I get the feeling I might actually lose this duel. Oh, yes! Get in! I thought that was going to be the end. Well, certainly nothing's going to stop me from scoring with Lancelot Lunge then. Not even Draken Yale, who... Again, it was suggested that I put him on my team, and it makes complete sense, because yeah, he'd be the only defender with a fighting spirit, he's accessible soon, but in order to get him, you need a total of 22 prerequisites. You need Royal Academy Strategy Notes, which is a random drop from beating the team in Mr. Veteran's competition route, which takes a really long time, and it's probably a rare drop, but let me know in the comments, so I'd have to do that match again and again just to get that one item. Then you need another item with a Japanese name, which, because, you know, I mean, it has an English name, but the Inazuma 11 wiki doesn't believe in the English language, so I couldn't even tell you what it's called. We need another player called Tishpadum, who also needs the item Ice Cream, the item Energy Gloves, the Move Manual Anchors Away. He needs another unrelated player to get him, Abby de la Vera, who also needs the player Cold Blood and the uniform Stripe Wear. And then on the other end, we also need to get the player Trev Iyer, who needs the item Decoration Cake and Thunder Shoes, and another one with a Japanese name and a Killer Whale Manual. And in order to get uh, Drakenio, you also need the player Caesar Cornell, who is part of Royal Academy, so he's understandably even harder to get, with the item Royal Kit and the topic Rare Butterfly, and another player called Precious Cryan, and another item with a Japanese name, which is a random drop from a team on the second floor of Ryman School, and you need the item Silver Pendant and an item Stamina Drink G. 22 pre-requirements, and some of them are really hard to do. So... Logically, Draken Yale makes a lot of sense, and yeah, we just got one of those items now, the Royal Kit, so that's good. And Victor's got Doom Drive! Doom Dive Drive! He's finally got a new shot he can use, wonderful. But yeah, I won't be getting Draken Yale. I hate pal packing, it's a massive headache.
Right then, so in the locked door of the corridor, Jude Sharp wants to talk to us about something, and this does... is this his own gameplay section? Usually when we've just beaten a match in a, an episode, yeah, that's, that's the end of the chapter right there, but we've got a little bit of freehand gameplay. And we've got to go all the way to this central room, including dodging a random encounter. By dodging, I mean winning against, but you don't get healed after the match automatically, so that makes it tougher. So, Mark, truth is, we are the resistance. You're what? You could say we're soldiers working to bring down Fifth Sector, just like Rymon. So, the Royal Academy's not being controlled by Fifth Sector after all. That's correct. We're just putting on a show for the enemy, making sure they trust us completely. And we had an ulterior motive in this match. We wanted to root out the Imperials that have been planted in Royals Football Club. It's all in aid of building up the Royal Academy Football Club as our rebel army. It came as quite a shock when Fifth Sector suddenly switched the fixtures for the semi-final. But it was also a golden opportunity. We knew that Rymon was going to ignore Fifth Sector's directives and play to win. We planned to use that. Plus, everyone not working for Fifth Sector would be glad for the chance to play a real game. But for Imperials, it's different. They have orders to take Rymon out, so they'd have to play in a certain way. I was to follow the players' movements, work out which ones are Imperials, and remove Fifth Sector from our team. And? Did you figure it out? With surprising accuracy. They'll be dropping out of Royal Academy in the not-too-distant future. I see. I've never thought all this was going on at Royal. We're really grateful to you and your whole team. That never say die attitude you have, that's what football's all about. There's someone we'd like you to meet. The person right at the centre of the resistance. With his help, we're going to spark a revolution in the world of football. It, it's you! The regional final's up next, and the team we're going to be taking on is made up entirely of Imperials. But that's not going to stop us. If there's one thing this revolution can rely on, it's my fighting spirit. See what happens in the next chapter, sink or swim! <laughs>